Hello, I'm Andy Harris, author of HTML, XHTML, and CSS All-in-One for Dummies, and HTML5 for Dummies Quick Reference. Today, I'm going to show how to create a basic two-column design using XHTML and CSS styles. Many pages use a two-column design with a header and footer, and such a page is quite easy to build. Let's go over how to get started. First, you need to design the page. I find it best to do your basic design work on paper, not on a computer. Your sketch should include an overall page flow. How many columns do you want? Section names. Each section needs a name, which will be used in both the XHTML and the CSS. You may also include font and color information, as well as explicit section sizes. The point of the sketch is to separate design decisions from coding problems. If you solve the design stuff first, you can concentrate on building the design with XHTML and CSS. Now you're ready to start building the XHTML code that will be the framework. When building your code, there are a few important things to remember. One, make sure it's standard compliant. Well-formed XHTML will save you headaches down the road. Second, it should contain four divs that can all be moved later. Third, each div needs an ID. Fourth, all these divs should be inside a master div I called all, so you can have a fixed width element centered in your browser. All this should come from your sketch design. Finally, remember that the XHTML doesn't have any formatting or style yet. That is left to the CSS. Okay, now it is time to add in preliminary CSS. I find the Web Developer Toolbar's CSS Editor is an especially handy tool because it allows you to see the effects of your CSS immediately. Like all the software I recommend, it is completely free and works on every major operating system. And now for one of my favorite CSS tricks. Before doing anything else, create a selector for each of the named divs and change the background color. You won't keep these colors, but they provide some very useful cues when you're working with the layout. Begin by setting up the all div. This will need a fixed width and height. Set the sizes in pixels and center the div by setting margin left and margin right to auto. This way your page will look fine in any browser. The next step is to set up the header. All you need to do here is determine the height. Usually a banner image of some sort will go here, so you'll probably want to consider how large that will be. I'm going with plain text, so I'll center it so it looks good. Two column designs normally have a navigation panel. That will be the left hand div. Use the float attribute and set the width and height. The rest of the page may look bad temporarily, but we'll fix that later. Add the style for the main panel. This should also float left next to the nav panel. Be sure the widths of the columns add up to the width of the all div. Set the overflow property to auto so large text doesn't break your layout. The footer looks okay, but it still needs some work. Set the clear to both and give it a height. Be sure again that the heights all add up correctly. The colors were helpful, but it's time to convert to something prettier. I'm changing the colors to white and adding a nice red border. Be sure to adjust the various widths to account for borders. The last step adds some nice HTML5 goodies. I'm using the new border radius and box shadow CSS elements to make the page pop out. Hey, I know this went by pretty fast. For more detail and information, pick up one of my new books, HTML, XHTML, and CSS All-in-One for Dummies, and HTML5 for Dummies Quick Reference.